And the foundation I will be using is the Studio Sculpt in NW30. But before that, I'm going to apply my Fast Response Eye Cream by MAC. And I do pulling movements up so my eye can open up. By doing so, you are training your muscles underneath your eye to look more awake. Pull it up. I apply it on the back of my hand. So I apply about that much. And I'm gonna use my Sigma foundation brush. I'm gonna spritz it with Fix Plus. Start applying it. So I start from the forehead and work my way around my face. And I try to leave this right here empty because I need to color correct that part. So once I apply my foundation, I grab a beauty blender and then I spritz it with Fix Plus and I just dab a little bit from the edges so they blend in and I try not to move it all around because this foundation tends to rub off. So not too hard, I'm just trying to even everything out. Once that's done, I'm going to go into my Pro Concealer and Corrector Palette by MAC. I'm going to use this yellow over here. It's called Pale Yellow. So just grab a little bit with my finger and just focus it right here on my most darkest. So you can already see the difference between this eye and this eye. I'm going to do it on the other side. Once again, I'm going to get my beauty blender and blend that in. I go back into my concealer palette and I use my Sigma concealer brush and the color I'm going to use is NC20 and I'm going to bring that on top of my corrected necks for more coverage and bring it all the way down here just feather it out. I like to bring it all the way to my temple by my hairline. I'm once again feather it down. Then I smile and see where my cheekbone is and go on top of that. I go underneath my nose. Then 
then I go underneath this eye again and bring it down. chin right here bring it down my forehead and then we're gonna do a strip down our nose but don't bring it all the way down since I don't want to extend my nose, I'm going to bring it all the way right here. You guys can see that I did not bring it all the way down. As I'm trying to make my nose look smaller, I'm cutting it right there. Now I'm going to go with the Morphe brush. And I'm going to use a Darken Concealer by MAC in the color NC50. And then... I'm gonna contour my face. So over here I like to smile. And you guys can see I have my cheekbone right there, so I like to follow that. To bring it right there. And you see. So I brought it like that. I'm gonna contour my temples and my forehead to make it look smaller. Underneath my lip to make my lip look fuller. Now for my nose. I'm gonna wipe the excess off from the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in my eyebrow bring it down so like I said I don't want to extend my nose so I'm gonna cut it right here so fill this part in I'm going this way Make sure it's not crooked and I'm going to go back into the NC20 with the same brush I used for it and highlight once again. I'm going to do a little button nose right here. Okay, now we're going to go back into our beauty blender. Spray it again with 6 plus. I'm going to start with the concealer. and dab it. Now we're gonna blend in the contour we did and bring it down, but not too hard because we don't want to erase the whole thing. So you guys can see I have a line right here. I just want to fade it a little bit. And this one I'm bringing it up. But not too hard. So now we're going to blend our nose contour, we're going to bring it down softly,
and just make sure everything else is blended. So once that's done, we're gonna set our face with the night banana powder and just grab a little bit of it. I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Taper Highlighter Brush with the banana powder. Tap the axis up and just grab your pinky and just so there's no creasing and set your concealer. Once I do that, I'm going to use my MAC Invisible Setting Powder. It's a pro set powder. You can get this online already at any pro store. With the setting powder, I'm going to use the Sigma Tapered Brush, and it's fluffy. We're going to do a quick run through of the face, I'm not adding a lot of product, so just So everything is set and nothing moves throughout the day. So once that's set, I'm going to use the MAC Give Me Sun powder. And it's gonna be my transition color for my contour. So with the same taper brush, I'm gonna grab some and never blow on your brushes. Always sweep it off. So I'm gonna add a little bit. And it's just gonna go in the same place as we contoured. Now I'm gonna use the color Blunt by MAC. And I'm gonna use the large contour brush. And this is gonna be my first contour color. I tend to use three different contour colors just so I see my cheekbones going. I go on my temples. Now for my favorite contour color, it's the Bobbi Brown and it's called Bridge Coco number no. eight. And it's a super dark brown. So with the same brush, I'm gonna put it on the tip of my brush and it's gonna sharpen the contour. Temples, mostly by the hairline, so everything blends in. I'm 
I'm gonna use the color Melba by MAC. Now I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. So smile. Not too much. And I'm not gonna bring it all the way down. I like to put it on my forehead a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back into my large fluffy brush and blend everything together by going up and down really quickly. Now to bring out more of the contour in my nose, I'm gonna use a tapered blending brush with the same color blend not too much product on my brush and then contour the nose And like I said, I do not want to extend my nose, so I am cutting it. Now I'm going to use my highlighting pen in Light Boost. And it's my first time using it. And I'm going to break it down my nose. where the highlighter is. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender one more time. This just gives a little bit more highlight. And I'm gonna set it once again with the Pro Setting Powder. I'm gonna contour the nose just a little bit in the front. So I don't lose that shape. Now to make your cheekbones even pop even more, I'm gonna add Shell by MAC. And this I'm gonna apply with my fingers. Just smile. And go on top of your blush you just added. You see how that gives you the glow? I'm gonna go on the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. And I'm gonna use MAC Gold Deposit. And I'm gonna use a fan brush. And this I got at BH Cosmetics. Grab your product and just sweep. You see how that adds more glow? Down my nose.
So once I do that, I go back to my Fix Plus and I spritz my toe to set everything. And that completes my foundation routine with highlight and contour.